Hello, my name is Geojin and welcome back to Armored Warfare. Today I'm in a premium vehicle, the AMX 10P Pack 90, or the AMX 90, I'm going to call it because it's much easier than saying the full name. Anyway, it's a premium vehicle, it's tier 4, we're in top tier matchmaking, therefore it's very favourable, and you should take a solid role in top tier matchups. However, the AMX 10P does have its drawbacks, of course, has very little armour. It is based on the AMX 10P, which is at tier 3 in the normal tree. It's not a premium vehicle, that. But it does away with the auto cannon and puts a very, very nice 90mm on it. Which, after doing some fact checking, or looking in the game rather, and there's the first kill <laughs> on an opposing uh, AMX 10P 90, the penetration of the AP runs is actually higher than that of the ERC 90. Not by much, but I believe this is 238 or 35, somewhere around there, and the ERC-90, the tier higher, um, is 229. So they are very similar, but I was surprised to see this actually has better penetration. However, like I said, it is quite a big target. It has very little armor. It can be penetrated by HE, autocannons, um, artillery obviously so you have to be careful its speed is okay it's not super fast like the ERC um, but you can shift it around if you need to it has three choices of ammunition AP heat and HE three standard it is still part of the lower tiers from tiers 1 through 4 you generally get this sort of stuff uh, standard some vehicles include uh, some exceptions include the Starship, which doesn't have AP rounds. That was quite a quick shot there. There is a bit of shot delay, as you notice, and I think most players have noticed this by now. Um, when I fired that shot, it took a second or so to register, and there again. And the M60 just easily penetrates our side armor with his AP rounds. But we do have enough hit points. 1112. Can't penetrate that T-62, managed to avoid his return fire, even though we were mostly stationary. The reload, mine is 4.25 seconds, you can get it faster, but I have done the uh, explosive propellant of mine, the internal hull reinforcement, and the one I always forget, which improves the reload by 7.5%. On screen now, I really need to learn that name. Side of a T-62, very easy penetration, 300 damage with the AP. Firing AP at that sort of mid-distance will ensure a hit as the shell travels much quicker. That was a terrible shot against the BMD-1, it just went straight into the ground in front of me. T-62 is dead, we are free to move up. Can we take a shot at that scorpion? Uh, okay, <laughs> just bounces off the side. Side of an M60, generally American tanks of that era have very poor side armor, so make sure you do get those good side shots if he is over angling, even just a tad. Uh, in terms of the amount of am uh, ammunition you get, you get enough, <laughs> more than enough. I carry predominantly AP, then I also carry quite the number of heat shells as it is a lower tier vehicle. Of course, it's a premium vehicle, you may be wondering how much this is. Uh, there are two versions of the same vehicle in the game. There's this one that you can see, which is the Merc edition, which you can't buy anymore, I don't think. And 475 there, heat shells are very, very nice at taking out artillery. Uh, but you can buy the normal variant, which is in the Wolfie uh, dealership. You may want to do that. It costs a thousand gold or five euros uh, if you buy the 1100 euro. 1100 euro, the 1100 gold package, which costs 5 euros, or your regional equivalent. And would I recommend it? I enjoy playing it, certainly. If you enjoy sniping, if you go up close against anything in this vehicle, you will get penetrated, so do not do that. But if you enjoyed this sort of gameplay where you are mobile, but you have a very, very good gun, and you can penetrate most targets with heat or AP, uh, especially those without any ERA or composite. Don't shoot the front plate of a T-64 with this gun because it won't penetrate, but most targets like that Leopard there, 
Yep, he's gone. <laughs> Switch back to the AP rounds. And that was quite the quick match. Just over five minutes, really. Just this T62 left. I'm not going to get there in time. There are our teammates around him. But there you go. Worth the price? I think it is. I enjoy playing it. And you do get quite the amount of credits. Especially if you do a good amount of damage like we did in this matchup. And we'll just take a look at the post-game stats. There it is, 14,000 reputation, 260,000 credits. The reputation has been buffed because there's an event going on at the moment. 18 shots fired, 15 hits. And the penetration, is it shown on the right? 235, I was right. 235 pen of the AP. There you go though, the AMX Tempe Pack 90 Merc, or the normal variant. A very, very capable vehicle, as long as you don't get shot by anything. <laughs> Although you could say that for a lot of vehicles, but particularly ones which are quite large in terms of their box shape and have no form of countermeasures against ERA, uh, against ERA, against heat, ATGMs, and generally the armor is not thick enough. Tell me your thoughts. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay, as always. I've been Jujin, and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.